we're all here. All right, Jim, tell me about your boat. Um, I have a salmon and crab boat. In the summertime, I fish for king salmon. In the wintertime, I fish for Dungeness crab. Um, the boat is called the Elaine. And what we were able to do is um, let people come out on the docks on the weekends or during the week, during the holidays. Our big time for crab is, is November 15th, clear through January 1st. Uh, we'll have people down here every day um, buying, selling crab. And uh, we try to have people selling off the boat during that whole period of time. So it gets quite busy during crab season. It's a little bit of a lull now because um, most of the guys are bringing in their crab gear so that we can start fishing salmon on Sunday and see most of the guys are down here working on the boats now to, to get them re-rigged for salmon fishing which will start um, May 1st, Sunday morning. So we'll all go fishing and see what we can find. Hopefully by the following weekend we'll have um, fresh salmon on the, on the docks. We'll Fish what we usually do is just set up different kind of uh, um, displays and stuff. When I uh, sell crab, I back the boat right up to the dock and I have a live tank right on the stern and I sell the, the crab right off the stern of the boat. Uh, Danny, a lot of times, will have uh, uh, live halibut, and live crab. Uh, sometimes they do live rock cods and stuff like that. And then during the salmon season, um, sometimes I'll just sell salmon off the out of honors off the foredeck or something like that. Can you explain a little bit of the boat and how, how sure. you catch it? In, in the during, during crab season, we go. This is a power block. So I have a steering station from up here. So I drive the boat from up here and I, I put the, the rope in in the power block and pull the pot up and we land it on the standing table. We take the crab out of the out of the pot, rebate the pot, and toss it back in the water. And, and then we have some live tanks that we keep the crab in during that period of time. Uh, so so that's the, the crab part of the boat. Um, in the stern part, we'll actually have the salmon part of the boat. Oh, don't worry about it. Okay, thank you, Bob. You got the Google chefs in the way here. <laughs> so in the summertime, we fish salmon. And these are actually the winches that we use for salmon fishing. What we'll do is we'll put a lead in the water, and then there's there's stops. Here's a set of stops right here, and we'll hook on an individual leader in between the stops. So depending on how deep of water we're in, will depend on how many leaders we can put in the water. If we're fishing in the shallows, we may only have 12 hooks in the water. If we're fishing in the deep, we may have uh, 38, 40 hooks in the water. Uh, it's one fish, one hook. Uh, when we catch a fish, we uh, bring it in. Uh, what we usually do is we'll, um, uh, within 20, 30 minutes of the time I've caught it, he's been gilled, gutted, cleaned, and I shoot him forward and we'll put him in the ice and so he'll be chilled down. So I can literally bring in fish three days and they're still in rigor mortis. They'll be bent around in a half moon. And so they're, they're incredibly fresh. You don't even want to cut them in rigor mortis. You have to, yeah, you want to let, the, let them relax even further than that. So as long as we can bring in that kind of quality, we sure hope that we can uh, pass that on to you guys and have something for, for, for the Googlers and be able to enjoy the freshness that we can deliver to them. Let's get the chefs in and ask some questions and hear the chef's perspective on why it's good to have fresh food and get it right from the fishermen. Showtime for you guys. Um, I love buying fish from fishermen like uh, Jim. Uh, I've been I live by uh, by the uh, harbor, and so it is to me the greatest way that I can treat a guest uh, is that you're visiting me, you're coming to California. We'll go to the boats. I talk to Jim. I know who he is, and I know the fish is just beautiful. Um, there's no blood on it. It's been caught on a single hook. We can buy a, a, a salmon, take it home, put it on the grill. Um, it's, it's the greatest way I can tell them, you're here, you're in California, it's local. It's as local as it gets. If I buy crab from him in crab season, he's uh, putting his hand in the, in the cold salt water and just picking them up, they're kicking and, and, and squirming. And I, get a, <laughs> and I get a big plastic bag and my, my guest and I just, you know, put it, sling it over our backs, we take it home and an hour later we're cooking it for dinner. It, 
doesn't it doesn't get any better. So, so Jim, if I'm a Googler and I want to come and visit you on the weekend, what's the best time to come over and, and see see everybody in action? The, the most interesting thing in, in, in crab season, you really want to be here earlier in the morning. Uh, everybody that walks down the dock wants the big crab, so the big crab go first. Uh, in the summertime when we're fishing salmon, everybody that walks down the dock wants a small fish because most people would rather have a small fish unless you're going to have a, a large barbecue for a large family and a number of people. So then you, you could handle a bigger fish. So you get your best selection in the morning. Uh, sometimes Danny will have some live halibut or, or Dougie will have some live rock cod. And so you'll get your best selection in the morning. And in the mornings, I'd have to say 9 o'clock. It's been a little bit later uh, nowadays because uh, we're kind of in between seasons and so uh, whatever we do have to sell goes really quickly. Uh, so, so it's been a little bit, little bit later, but you know, at times during the holiday season, uh, Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, uh, I mean, I've got to the boat at 7 o'clock in the morning and had 10 people waiting for me to get to the boat. And I can, somebody can bring their kids also? Is it kid friendly? You know, it's here? such a wonderful experience to come out down here and see the birds walk on the docks or see the sea lions in the harbor. And we get a lot of people to come over here now just for the day. They'll come over, walk up and down the dock, come down, talk to us. We try to bring something in, you know, that they let the kids play with and hold and something to come off the ocean floor and so it gives them something to, to go home with some kind of an experience and it, it's really nice to be able to just tell you what we're doing and explain the procedure to us and and, and let us let everybody know what we're actually doing over here. Right on. Uh, Quentin grew up in New England and, and he can talk about what it's like to have fresh fish. All right, Quentin. Hi, I, I haven't been at Google for the last four years as an executive chef and I can say that in all honesty, I apologize to Googlers, but the people who I enjoy cooking the most for are my two small children. And for me, when I'm buying fish, I want fresh fish because it's just delicious. And uh, that's what I do, and, and I do it just because uh, I love to cook for, for my little ones, and, and they, it's the best. And they become lifelong fish eaters absolutely. when they eat fish that good. And are you guys going to... Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's okay. And that's they know where it comes from. When they are you guys going to send us recipes? Of course. Absolutely. Of All right. You don't need to cook very fancy stuff when you have fish that's fresh. Just and very simple preparations. It's delicious. Final we'd, remarks, Jim. We'd like to send you some, some bios, too, on the different fishermen and maybe send some videos or something on us actually catching some of the fish so you can see what we go through to try to bring you the freshest fish possible. Sounds good.